All right, so um, as you already know, we started to work on a baby game and uh, the main feature that I wanted the game to have was to be like an RTS game or tower defense. And uh, yeah, I wasn't really sure what the game idea, like the goals, gameplay and stuff would be, but you no, know, I had an idea which I really liked and I thought that uh, yeah, I can, uh, you know, make a small video to share that uh, explanation like to be an introduction probably to the series i guess so yeah the main feature that i thought of i know it's inspired a bit by little company for some reason it's uh, that you will be like a vassal state for a really big i don't know empire scary empire something like that and uh, the goal of the game is that you'll have to collect resources to pay the like the quota right like a tribute and uh, that you know since that will increase every month or I don't know, every year for uh, the game you know it will force you to expand and uh, that's uh, i think that's a pretty good reason to make you expand your base right and yeah, I don't really know what would be the win condition though, like uh, how do we win? Maybe like develop a weapon to, um, you know, counter uh, against the Empire's thing, whatever. Uh, but yeah, how do you lose? It's pretty self-explanatory. I, I mean, you fail to pay the quota or you get destroyed by enemies and um yeah this is also gonna be interesting like having uh, competitors on the map so you are not the only one who's trying to survive right so there are also other ais that are trying to do the same thing and uh yeah i was thinking that probably the setting i mean you know medieval setting would be nice but i think it's gonna be more interesting to have something uh i don't know right with robots and because we have the lasers <laughs> like the only reason I would do that is because we had the uh, that uh, laser tower and yeah uh, like Star Wars but not Star Wars because uh, let's not get sued by Disney um, so uh, yeah and for the resources I was thinking like only coins and even though you'll be mining like trees and rocks and whatnot uh, they'll all be converted to coins so it's gonna make it much easier to you know pay the quota because it's gonna be just coins and probably food for the food if that makes sense if we are gonna have humans I mean obviously uh, it's gonna be because the food is gonna be useful for uh, you know having more troops having uh, more houses like increasing the population of the city like usually in RTS games that's done by how much food you have then um, yeah the resources I was thinking of the factorio map generation style where you have some resources in the beginning but then as you go further away from the start uh, you find bigger and bigger resource patches and the same thing for the enemy bases I'd say like in the beginning obviously you need to find easier enemy bases but as you increase in strength you'll find uh, more difficult enemy bases like that's uh, that's how the game should progress and uh, yeah I'd say that how you you can progress actually because I don't really want you to be able to build like anywhere you just select a building and place it at a random point I was thinking that you'll have like a town hall which has a range that you can build in and uh, to expand you need to build outposts and I'd say that the outposts can be built at random locations probably like that's how it should make sense or maybe you have like a unit or something that you can send to a location and 
convert it to an outpost, you know, like in tribal wars, or, uh, you know, if you know that, you know, it's like an older game. Um, so yeah, and then you can build in that location, right, and it's like an expansion, like an outpost. Um, the other thing, which I guess is like, would be nice to have, but I don't know if that's important, is sending the resources back from the outpost and uh, that would be something you know um, like random attacks on your uh, caravans so uh, it, it can make it uh, uh, harder even though you are let's say self-sustainable if you get a random five attacks on on your outpost then uh, you can get uh, like things can get a bit uh, tricky for you for example I, that's what I'm thinking another thing would be what if you actually see like random bases like uh, random enemy bases getting destroyed because they failed to pay the quota and uh, yeah I, I was thinking like the destruction can be something like you know the, the Death Star, how, or how is it called from uh, Star Wars? The, like a laser that levels the base, you know, like it crushes everything from the base. That would be pretty scary to see. And imagine like seeing that to a random, random base and knowing that, oh shit, that's gonna happen to my base if I fail to kill the quota. So, uh, yeah, it would be interesting to have that randomly happen sometimes and it's like you know the ai won't have to pay any quota it's just ai sitting around but we pretend that it's doing the same thing as you do so uh, that would be the thing and uh, yeah for collecting resources i've seen like usually two types of uh, of that it's either you get x per minute or x per second or something or there are people actually going back and forth from the like building to the main building and i mean i like the second one but probably for the initial thing we can do like the first one so i think i've covered all my ideas probably and uh, yeah i've split the i've split these features into three categories like the really important ones that we'll have to let's say rush them and uh, this is gonna be the first version like the alpha release so obviously we we'll need to have a map generation being able to build um, resource buildings and uh, paying the quota right or you lose so this is gonna be more or less like uh, resources plus paying quota uh, feature right like that's how I titled it so there's not gonna be any enemies just the map generation and uh, you expanding like not even uh, I guess humans and stuff so yeah something like that yeah maybe mm, I don't know like uh, I'm, I'm still thinking I, I haven't really thought about where you are able to place outposts maybe that's based on the level of your base or something uh, but yeah uh, then uh, for the like important features which would be adding the units right like i add units in a separate um, update let's say would be you know the war units and uh, then the enemy bases and the enemy units and probably workers that can bring resources from mines to outposts and stuff like that because initially I'd, I would do X per second style in uh, collecting resources but once we have uh, units uh, we can have workers that carry the resources because that's more fun to actually see them uh, working maybe even have enemies be able to kill you know <laughs> To kill the workers uh, that's uh, you know usually how it happens in RTS games so 
and say that uh, yeah like units update is uh, important and probably like polishing although it's not it's more or less like adding the rest of the features which are nice like would define in in a way would um, make the game more unique in a way i mean i would say that this paying the quota is what would probably make the game more unique because to be honest i don't really know if there's a game like this rts game i'm not sure if it's gonna work like if it's gonna be interesting but uh you know like uh, worth trying because it sounds uh, interesting like it makes you have a reason to expand like why do you want to expand just for the sake of it no it's like you you have to expand because you need to pay the bills uh, like to survive and not get laser beamed okay so uh, like nice to have features would be actually getting laser beamed when you when you lose although you know this can be implemented any any time it's like an animation no the the screen making like warning noises and turning a bit red like in a little company when you lose then um, i guess adding food collection like it's not the main thing but probably some food management that allows you to actually have more workers have more units add it here and then the enemies that can detect you based on some kind of pollution uh, let's say like if you go big enough they start to send attacks right that's uh, what i'm thinking then yeah the the idea with caravans that you have to send them from outpost to the main base or i guess you know they go alone and uh, another thing would be like a research tree and uh, that is gonna be based on i don't know the town hall level and if you increase the town hall level you can have more options uh, but not sure what like maybe hiding some buildings behind some skills or maybe units like obviously you'll have units like you know machine gunners like or, I don't know, laser beam gunners maybe uh, tanks and i guess tanks would be you would need some research to build tanks and maybe i don't know like spaceship airplanes uh, so yeah and yeah, the like random, random random events that's also gonna be like one final thing like the the empire being able to destroy enemy bases like random bases and uh, you know, attacks on caravans but you know these these things can change to be honest but i would say that these should stay exactly like this probably this also but from this category they can change in uh, in time I, i'd say that getting laser beam this it should stay but um, yeah the rest can change maybe even food collection can stay i mean it's gonna stay but i'm not sure how to do management like that's uh, that's subject to change but yeah and they also have to come up with uh, good name so so yeah i guess uh, yeah uh, like that's the the idea of the the game and uh, sure now it's uh, gonna be implementing or implementation time so uh, yeah see you in the follow-up videos i guess so see you there